Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It is December 12th and yesterday and this morning I've been working on cleaning and pruning and removing all of the dead plant matter. So as you can see here, we've pretty much cleaned out all the plant rings. I've cut this uh, big sh shrub uh, bush. I don't know what it really is. It's a flowering bush, um, but I'm not sure what kind of bush it is. And I'm not sure what this tree is here. So I didn't want to cut that down just yet. Uh, but I've got everything cut back and kind of cleaned up. The only thing that I did not cut was the kale here. I think that we may still be able to um, harvest some of this. As you can see here, some of it is dying from the, from the freezing temperatures. We've had a lot of snow over the last week or two. Um, and that has affected some of it, but I'm not sure. I think it's still good. I think we just need to harvest some of it. As you can see here, this little tree got kind of weighted down, so it's fallen over and pulling out of the ground there. But everything is looking really nice now. I raked everything here. <clears throat> We're definitely going to have to pull out the raspberry bushes, but you want those to fully die back, which will probably be January, February, when it gets the, its coldest. Uh, I cut this bush back. This is a bush that the birds really like to perch in. So I pruned it back, cut a lot of the little branches off, cut a lot of branches, uh, new stalks that were coming out of the ground there. So I cut all those back. This was the quince. Uh, tree or quince bush. I believe this is still the quince tree and these were the largest stems. Everything else was really small, which I think were just, they're all separate bushes. This is not just one bush. This is multiple bushes, probably 50 or 100 <laughs> bushes from different seeds. So it's just constantly getting cut back and what I want to do is remove the majority of those. And ultimately I want to build a wall from the top of the, the pond wall here. I wanna build um, the plant ring wall, build it up and go around the hillside here and kind of make a, a terrace area here so that we can have more grow beds that are actually in-ground grow beds, similar to what we have up here on the front. So building plant rings here. I also want to finish the uh, pond liner uh, perimeter. So I got the pond liner in and made everything work. And I think this is a good, a good shape, but I want to make it to where you don't see the pond liner. So what I'm gonna do is let all the water out and pull the liner back, put in some, like a retaining wall of stones and plant rings, and then lay the, the liner on top of that and then back up and then have another stone, finished stone on top. Probably stones like this will finish it off because I want it to look real natural. And then we can just put uh, dirt right up to those rocks and the only time you'll see the liner is what's inside the pond. And I'm hoping to even cover that up. As you can see here, I've uh, put a bunch of uh, mid-sized rocks. Most of them are about the size of my hand. I put those in the bottom. One, because it's really slippery. And two, it just makes it a little more natural. And as you can see here, there's lots of moss and um, greenery growing in the water. And so... I'll stir all that up and it'll get washed down downstream. But I've got all this kind of cleaned off over the last few days and it is looking much nicer. And then I also want to put, we have this bathtub here. I want to get this bathtub dug into the ground here and this drain draining into the bathtub and then from the bathtub going into the pond via some of these uh, pipes here. So yeah, everything is, is pretty much uh, dormant. 
As you can see, the grass is still like super green. You've got a lot of dead stalks, but the, the grass will stay green pretty much all year. I mean, there may be a little time where it kind of turns brown and you can see a lot of stuff dies off and lays down, but even though we get negative temperatures, it still stays green. So yeah, everything is looking good. Everything is uh, coming together and hopefully I will be able to uh, So now I want to start rearranging and cleaning off some of this upper area. This has just become a mess and it is somewhat unsightly. So I know my neighbors aren't happy about it and I don't really like it either, but I didn't really have anything better to do with it at the time. So I've got a plan for a greenhouse that I will be using all these windows and doors on. And I have a plan, multiple plans that will involve using all these plant rings. So I really just need to start moving stuff around and getting everything staged. And then I also need to relocate some of this glass. The other day I separated it all. So these are all good. These are good, but they have some cracks in them. And the other side, I think you know, like half of them are good. So I'll have to cut them in half or cut them in three quarter lengths and just cut the broken sections out. As you can see here, this one's broken here. That's the crack. So from there down is good. So I can just cut that off and use the bottom half and just get rid of the upper half. Same thing with these. Uh, actually, this one looks pretty good here, but the one behind it here, you can see a crack down here but I think the top is good. So that one will be usable. And this big box that's behind them, I want to actually cut this box in half, put another perimeter board on, on one half and perimeter board on the other half, and then turn this into like really um, nice size grow, uh, raised beds. And so this is just too tall. When I built it, I was, thinking that I might put it in the ground and I didn't cut it because this is full size slats. So I can just cut these in half with the saw, turn that into two grow beds, and that will probably go in this area here somewhere. So that is a plan. Uh, I've got all this mulch here that can, that I just kind of spread out so that it would start breaking down. I can use that in the grow beds as a uh, cover, or I can use it as walkway mulch. So I've got plans for a lot of this stuff. I just need to start maneuvering it around and staging it so that it, so that it will function better and be where I need it when I need it.